Welcome back to more New Mission of the Emblems. The last time we beat the main story, so yeah. The fear of Medias and peace can now be felt throughout the world of um, Arcanea and stuff. But yeah, now though, we're going to be reliving some tales in the Arcanean Chronicles. So we have four maps here, Fall, Dragoon, Thieves, and Beginnings. So yeah, let's start with Fall. This is the hardest map of them all, I think, so maybe not the best place to start, but it's the one that chronologically takes place first. Because yeah, this actually, all four of them, I do believe, they take place all before Shadow Dragon, so yeah. And they all kind of um, set up that game a bit. So yeah, during the War of Shadows, the Royal Palace of Arcanae, the largest kingdom in the continent, was in a truly hopeless situation, under the merciless onslaught of the Dorian Empire, led by the Shadow Dragon Medius. As the footsteps of the Imperial soldiers started resounding through the palace walls, King Arcanea, with no other uh, alternatives to consider, gave a secret order to the Bishop Boa. So yeah, basically, this is showing Nina's escape from Arcanea Palace, something that happened um, well before Shadow Dragon, obviously. I mean, it wasn't that long before, but yeah. Um, and yeah, it is quite the hopeless situation, because seeing this map is actually quite difficult, so yeah. Princess Nia, we have mere moments before the Millennial Palace falls to the enemy. We must escape from here at once. But what about my father? I cannot just leave him. Princess, this is His Majesty's order. If you manage to escape, you'll be able to restore Arcanet at a later date. We will. So please, Princess, for Arcanet's future. Even if it's my father's orders, I refuse to escape alone. I shall remain in the palace, together with my father, till the very end. Princess Nida, please consider His Majesty's feelings. We are fighting against time now. No, no matter what you may persuade, I shall remain here. Bishop Boa, Princess Nida, there you are. The enemy is fast approaching. Please make your escape quickly. I see, it cannot be helped. Dolph, the killer. Take Princess Nida away from me. Yes, sir. No, Boa, father, father! Forgive me, Princess. Now, everyone, hurry. And here they are. There's quite a lot of enemies. And here's the boss of this map. Gorba. That's the name. <laughs> so that's why you were hiding ghosts the Arcanine army. Why don't you just give up? I'll stay your sorry lies as you submit to us. Oh dear, so is this it? Bishop Bo, where are we? In a chamber inside the palace. I'm sad to say we're completely surrounded by Imperial soldiers. It seems as a poor judgment for my part. Princess, I brought you here in such a rude fashion. Why did was truly a victim? Not at all. I was behaving like a sport child. I am the one who should apologize. Either way, Bishop, let us have recourse now. Unfortunately, at this point, I have no choice but to surrender. I shall negotiate with the enemy so they won't lay their hands on me. Bishop Bo, are you telling us to surrender without a fight? I refuse. I'll not accept the possibility of surrendering to the likes of them. Medea, don't be selfish. Do you intend to avoid Princess Nina in this battle? The Princess is the last over the people of Arcane. What would you tell them should anything befall them? I see. Forgive my rashness. Bishop, I agree with Medea. No matter what grim fate awaits us, I want us to hold our heads high with pride until the very end. If Medea and the others say they'll fight for me, then I want to entrust them with my final desire. Bishop, please allow my wish to become true. Princess, if you are ready to go that far, then there is nothing I can say. Everything shall be as you wish. May our guardian deity Naga protect us. Thank you, Bishop Burr. Medea, please do what you must. I'll burn the image of your valorous figure in my mind. Princess. Dolph, McKellen, Tomas. Please assist Medea. I shall never forget any of you. Yes, lady. Alright, let's go. Let us show these imperial soldiers that Arcanea still has true knights. First, we should all move towards that small treasure room nearby. If Dolph McKay and myself guard the entrance, the interior will be safe. Let's hurry down. And they actually tell you what you want to do on this map, so that's good. Basically, here's the, uh, here's the problem with this map. Basically, even though the enemies don't look that strong, your units aren't too strong either. So, I mean, this is good, but the others do suffer from color base. That's, these two are at least bulky, so that's good. Uh, Tomas, yeah, I mean, you can fight the archers and the mages, right, I guess. But yeah, the music, actually, this. it's the one that plays in the prologue of Shadow Trek, which is very funny. But yeah, you could charge in with the deer, but yeah, it's a very, um, it's not a very wise thing to do, so yeah. So yeah, let me just change some of that. 
All you want to do is you want to play defensively in this game, so yeah. So we're going to be rushing towards the, um, this room here. And basically making like a choke. And the Amadea here is going to help us out a little bit too, so yeah. And the end problem is, you know, maybe, maybe I didn't want to move the armor knights up. Like, yeah, maybe I could have, like, because they have champions, so they could have actually went in and did just fine, but, uh, yeah, this map might take a few tries for me, because, you know, I haven't actually played it, so, <laughs> I'm not very familiar with that, so, yeah. But, yeah, I should mention where these maps come from, because they're in other farm games, too. Other foreign game, I should be saying. These maps, these four maps are going to be playing here. They are from DS Farm. This is the farm game for the Satellite. <laughs> Back in the day. Um, I think I should have moved the deer more. Because I know she can kill another uh, dude for us, but yeah, we're really choked off now. So yeah. The good thing though is that the deer can. Kill, um, like, yeah, Tomas really can't move in there, so I kind of want to um, restart actually. Let me do that. Okay, let's give it another go. So, yeah, like I said, these maps, yeah, they're kind of difficult. Well, this one in particular, see, so, yeah, I can put the deer there actually. She'll be able to kill two of these um, arm knights for us because, yeah, she's stronger. Now, the question is, do I send in one of the arm knights this way? Because yeah, maybe we should prioritize moving Boa and Nina. They can't attack, but yeah, they can heal, which is also really important. Um, yeah, let me think. So yeah, let's put Dolph here. But because yeah, McKellen does have more places he can go, so yeah, I think I will put him here with the shepherd. Because yeah, he actually took here as the mage, which is really nice. So yeah. And then yeah, we can move. I mean, Bo is not in the best place either, to be honest. Now we can move Nina here, which is really good because then she can escape to the front room. Not the front room, the choke point, basically. I'm a little bit worried about these two, though, so yeah. Because they're not in the best spot. But like I said, these maps, they're from BS Farm, which, yeah, like I said, is the Teleview um, Farm game. And yeah, it was made by Cargo too. It, I believe it was after Heavy 4 actually. They uh, they were they played a little bit differently from this obviously because yeah, this uses Heavy Tools mechanics that uses some of Heavy Freeze mechanics. So they all of them, but yeah, but these actually don't really well with the Crickles. But yeah, unfortunately this guy's an issue because uh, I don't <laughs> I don't like taking damage. But yeah, this is good because yeah, that's free javelin damage right now from um, Michaela. Because yeah, the mage can't reach, so that's good. And yeah, like I said, we need to play defensively, and then we'll be able to basically make a move. So yeah, where can we move? So we can actually go here, which is really good. Um, I think what we're gonna do is I think we should do this. Yes, again, the mage is. I mean, they don't necessarily go for Dolphin McKinnon because, yeah, I mean, they do have definitely the lowest res out of light units, but yeah, they could also go for Tomas, I guess, but yeah. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, so yeah, this is still a bit of a dicey situation, I think. I think I can move forward there, which is good, but yeah, I can't really move Tomas anymore, so yeah. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go steal arms. But yeah, I'm still worried about. Still very worried about um, Madeira actually. Yeah, I can move Boa here, which is good. You can stay safe for the time being. I'll have to move Tomas here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think. Uh, this is not great. Because, yeah, Tomas is gonna take some damage, I think. Quite a lot of damage, in fact. Like this, but they actually died to all this. I need to know. But yeah, these. Will they go for Nina? She has full defense. They probably will. 
one sewer. And they do... How much damage? Uh, 7 damage I think? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Um, Benny and Chuck. So, silver, 5. And these guys do 2 and 2, so 9 damage. And this guy does 2 damage. I think she lives actually. So you have five. Then you add yeah, then you add two, that's seven, nine, and this guy does eight, six. Oh yeah, that's eleven she lives, I think. So yeah, let's try it. But next time definitely gonna be They might not even go for her. They could go for um they could go for a Tomas as well, so yeah, that's another thing to consider too. But yeah, next turn she really needs to get healed, so yeah. You get a chest key, you want to open the chest and slap the deck should be using and yeah, I was right. They do go for Tomas. So it is definitely gonna live. But yeah, only barely though, so we're definitely gonna need to heal her. But the good thing is, now we can make a one, um, one choke point kind of thing. And yeah, I should have a good shot, I think, but oh well. Yeah, now I can basically trip them off in like um, one space, basically. It's basically what Bo is standing. So yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, move. You here with the javelin, because yeah, he can take one more mage. And yeah, I kind of wish I could have healed him here, but that's okay. Um, I will put Kaelin here. Tomas. Tomas is cool. In fact, yeah, I can actually just attack with him right now. Because, yeah, Boa wants to, um... What Boa wants to do is he wants to, um... He might as well heal Tomas. Basically. And then I could put... I mean, this is not... Still not great, because, yeah... It's not gonna get attacked, but it's only gonna be on one person, so that's good. It's only gonna be one person get attacked, you know, we can always heal that, so yeah. I'm gonna do this, and then we're going to do this. Okay, let's see what happens. But yeah, that's exactly what happens, so that's good. And yeah, this one goes to mid there. I might, um... One problem you'll notice on this set too is, yeah, you run out of the silver ones, but the chests basically give you good replacements for those weapons, so that's nice. Um, basically, yeah, the chest that Tomas is standing on is a Thunder Tome. That's very useful on this set. You can give that to Nino and Boa. And then the chest south of us, that has an armor slot. This is a little bit dicey because... Um, Tomas is going to get beating her. Yeah, he's almost gone. <laughs> but the good thing is, is that um, we're still alive. <laughs> you can lose units. It's not. Um, it's not like a game over or anything. Also, there's talks in the swamp. See, we should definitely do those. See, Nina and Boa. Boa, how's the battle going? Mm, we are quite a disadvantage. I'm afraid I'm getting too old for this. Bishop, please rest here for a moment. I shall take care of everyone's wounds in your place. But Princess, I cannot just do e nothing when everyone else is in danger. I shall fight too. So there we go. Let me give you all that's good. Um, and then yeah, we definitely need this. But yeah, we're still in a good place because yeah, because yeah, these two can attack the archers, which is really nice. That mage is still very annoying, but yeah, we can deal with him later, I think. But yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, I probably don't want to go down here with, um, Dolph, because a mage will go for him, so yeah, I'm probably going to keep him there, to be honest. Um, do we attack with him, dear, is the question. Because, yeah, I could, like, another thing I could do, I could do this, actually. Um, and then, yeah, the mage will go for, um, the kill. And then after that, then these two are actually even more kill them, so yeah. 
maybe trying to kill this mage is actually the smart thing to do. There's a lot to think about this stuff, as you can, as you can probably tell. So yeah. I'll do this. And this, unfortunately. They, uh... There again, I actually don't really know what makes the AI move is the issues here. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, we'll see if they go f if the mage moves first. Because that would help me a lot. Um, and here, I probably want the accuracy. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm gonna kill the launcher. But yeah, that is, you know, like I said, this is a bit harder than what I'm used to, see so yeah. And Tomas gets a look up. They use the growth rates on the base game, although in Bo's case, I guess I could tell you his growth rates. Um, if I could load them up. They're very bad because, yeah, it's kind of based on his old growth rates. You do get some characters you don't normally get in the main game, so yeah. Um, you can talk about the growth rates here. Boa, if you're curious, he has 10 HP, 0 strength, 20 magic, 20 skill, 20 speed, 20 luck, 0 defensive, 30 res. Yeah, he's not that great, but he does a growth, but hey, he heals, and that's really important in this map, so yeah. Now, yeah, another thing that could happen is that Dolph gets attacked as well by the mage. Because, yeah, actually, if he does get attacked by two mages, that's really bad. So let's see. See, this one does go for Medea, and then the armor goes for Medea, and yeah, without the silver lance, yeah, she doesn't do very well. And yeah, this one does go for Dolph, which is good. One thing I could do, actually, mm, I don't know if I can or not, but actually no, no. Hmm. Still, this is, yeah, this is still a little bit of a dicey situation, isn't it? Because, yeah... I am thinking about what we can do next, basically, because, yeah, if I can kill these mages, we're gonna be in the clear, so yeah, I could obviously trade the German over. But yeah, I'm still very worried about it, yeah, if I do that, but yeah, we can do this. We don't need to heal Tomas, because he's not a of anything, I'm pretty sure. So that's really good. Uh huh. Alright. Question is, do we... Uh, this is a difficult choice. <laughs> um, the good thing is that Nina is full on health, so that's good. Um... And yeah, the archers can't really go for them. I think... Do I... Who do I trust more, actually? It's probably, um... It should be Dolph, isn't it? Because Dolph has the better base stats. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't like this very much. But yeah, what I'll do is, we're gonna move... I can also actually move downwards, because again, there's like, no mages left, so yeah, we can do this. Um, we can go ahead and talk to Nina, I think we can talk to Bo on the same time, which is cool, see if we can do that. Let's talk to Nina. Princess, are you safe? Yes, I'm fine. But dear, should anything happen to me, forget about me, just escape with everyone. But, I don't want to lose anyone, not a single one of you. But dear, listen to me, you're still searching for Astro, correct? So don't worry about me, escape by yourself. There's no... There's no worse disgrace than to abandon you and the palace, princess. Please be patient for a little longer. I shall defeat every enemy without fail. You have my word. So that's cool. Anyway, we can talk about it too. Are you doing well, Vidya? Yes, of course. There's no way I'd fall before we bring Princess Nia to safety. Bishop Bo, we pardons farewell against the magic. I'll take care of the enemy mages. Very well. I'm counting on you. Okay, so... Because, yeah, what I'm thinking is, we're gonna move, um... Dolphin here, because, yeah, he can 2 a KO this, but he's gonna need to get healing. Um, but yeah, we're gonna block this. The Archer can't do anything, then. And then, yeah, we can heal for free, I'm pretty sure. See, so, yeah, that's really good. See, so, yeah. Is there, is there anything that could go wrong with this? I don't think so. But, yeah, let's try it. 
But yeah, another bad thing about this too, I don't have like a rewind or anything like that. There's no save points in these maps either, so yeah. But yeah, now, actually, yeah, we can still get a type to look so. I mean, yeah, it depends on how they move this thing. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I should. I think I should do this. So, of course, you don't die to the mage. And then we can do it there. Alright, let's see what happens. So, yeah. A Japanese so weak that we don't kill this dude, which is great. And then this guy, yeah, we can't damage him. So, yeah, he's gonna be a nice little um, roadblock, I guess, for us. That's gonna help fun out these mages and archers. Potentially, we'll see. Um, and then McCain, let's take damage, that's great. So, yeah, these two are actually doing well. <laughs> for what? Because again, they were kind of mediocre units in both games, to be honest. So yeah, because they jumped out late. And yeah, that's all the mages gone. So we can tank with um, Dull Forever, which is really nice. So yeah, let's take advantage of that. Unfortunately, we can't kill that guy, but the good thing... Uh, actually, that doesn't damage us. So yeah, we can go to Steel Arts now and start killing these dudes. Let's do it. Because again, that archer, I think he's just gonna stay where he is. I mean, actually, no, he could very well attack. Um, I have a Nino or Boa. Maybe he has the chest kill with that. Oh, yeah, it's hard. So, yeah, we can go. We can do something kind of cool. So, yeah. We can do this. We can do this. Get that Thunder Tome. Trade the Thunder Tome. To Boa. Eel Medea. Then Nina can trade the Thunder Tome, so she can use it herself, now she can heal. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna kill that guy, because yeah, I don't want him to attack. I mean, actually, we can't. Um, I wonder if we can... Yeah. I think the problem is, is that she might die by awesomeness now. But yeah, I mean, it depends. I think this guy's gonna attack first, so yeah, I don't think it's... Issue, but yeah, let's see. I'm not gonna attack, I think. Let's see. Okay, good. So yeah, we're not gonna die by death by awesomeness, that's good. With the um archer up, I guess yeah, the archer could two archers can't reach me I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we should be able to And Dolph gets a level up. That's a pretty good one. Okay, so yeah, that works out for us. This is an interesting map, but yeah, you have to play it kind of weirdly though, you have to play it defensively, because otherwise, yeah, you're gonna get surrounded. <laughs> so yeah. So there we go. We could use Tomas too, because Tomas has a better chance of killing, because the javelin isn't as good as the bows he uses, so yeah, we could do some. Of course, he needs to be healed if I do that, so yeah. Alright, so yeah. I mean, another thing that Tomas can do is he can do this. Oh, uh, yeah, on a heal first. Because, yeah. That guy. Because, yeah, we can try doing this. Oh, it didn't work. I think I'm not gonna do what I was thinking about doing. Instead, yeah, we're just gonna keep with the steel arms. <laughs> We're just gonna, you know, do this. <laughs> it's working quite well, so yeah. And yeah, Tomas can come in to the next time. But yeah, we can use Vendera again, probably. Because, yeah. Of course, she can clear out these guys easier, but again, we need to be careful of her dying. By getting attacked too much, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I did get. I did look up a strategy this time because I was worried about these maps, so yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna be doing for all of them because yeah, they kind of remind me of Monsters maps, and yeah, when I played with Monsters 2, I basically, for all the late game maps, I always looked up a. I mean, not even late game, like most of the game, but I looked up a strategy so that um, I had a good idea of what to do. That's basically why I did it. <laughs> so yeah. Now the question is. Um, I mean, that kills him. I'll go for it. Because then Nina's gonna be safe. So that's good. 
And yeah, we healed him, so we can go up here. Let's use the iron bow and cut this one. There we go. So yeah, I think we're kind of in the clear now. So yeah. Oh, that's a good level. He does like a growth rate in the base game, so I guess that makes sense. Now the question is, do we attack or do we heal? I think we should be smart, so we're going... Because, yeah, she does a lot. She doesn't actually kill though, so yeah. I'm gonna be smart. Because, yeah, we could probably break through now. I definitely have enough civil answers to do so, so yeah. Wait, where's the other chest key? Oh, there it is. <laughs> because, yeah, the next thing I want to get is I want to get that armor slayer down there. It's gonna really help against the boss, so yeah. This is actually a defeat boss one. Also, yeah, that was a mistake. I should have equipped the steel arms. Uh oh, well. <coughs> we can kill that person with um, Nina, actually. No problem. In fact, I could. We can definitely stop moving forward a little bit, so yeah. Because yeah, what I can do is, I can do this with the silver. She takes five, so. There's, I mean, yeah, that is up to 20, she's full health, so yeah, she'll, she, there's no chance of a dying in So we can do this. We can start breaking through. So there we go. Nice enough. Now we can move in Dolph with the Steel Arts. So yeah, he's actually doing a lot of work. Like I keep saying, but yeah, like I said, uh, my commentary might not be so good here because, yeah, again, I'm really focusing. But I think now that things have calmed down a lot, let's talk about some other things. So, yeah, I actually really like the map, this map, actually, because it does tell a nice story. Of course, we kind of already knew this happened in Shadrach Dragon, but yeah, it's also great to see more of Nina because, yeah, Nina's kind of one of the most interesting characters in Shadrach, to be honest. One of the interesting main characters. Because yeah, she's definitely a main character in my eyes because um, because yeah, she kind of like yeah, she's kind of a big callus for a lot of plot events and stuff. You know, her palace falling and then all the stuff that happens on that that we're gonna be seeing. So yeah, yeah, no chest piece, that's good. The last chest is a see, I was right on the damage. So that's good because yeah, it'd be very embarrassing to fail at this point. So yeah. <laughs> um, there it gets a level up. HP, speed, luck, and defense. That's a sure thing. Nice. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's a little bit of RNG involved, depending on how you level up and stuff, but it's not that much of a problem. But anyway. Let's get Medea back to full health. She has a chest ski, so yeah, she can go ahead and get the armor slayer. And then we definitely want to get that health fire. So, yeah, they're probably going to go ahead and get that as well. So, yeah, it's just going to be us moving. You get ranked on these maps, I'm pretty sure as well. I'm not going for good ranks. I just want to um, show the map, show the story and stuff, so yeah. There's that armor slayer. We're gonna use it against the boss, because yeah, it's one of the best ways to attack the boss. He doesn't have one to which is good, so yeah, that means that Nina can help us, help us out a lot. In fact, Bo does have more magic though, so yeah, maybe I should be using him instead, but oh well. So yeah. We should probably wait till I like, get so close. Maybe yeah, it's the last just be yeah, it's Nina. So I guess yeah, what Medea can do is she can trade the chest skin and then she can go and open the chest and then you yeah, can give the turn to probably Bo I guess, because Bo has the best magic because then he can hit the sky for the most damage. It's probably smart, so yeah. Yeah, like I said. Again, Nina's just, you know, a great character in my mind. Yeah, a very tragic character. Like, nothing good happens to her. <laughs> That's kind of her thing. Like, yeah, remember what she said when we went to this place in Shadrach? She said that she had to watch her relatives be hanged at the gate, so yeah. I think that just goes to show that, yeah, her life is just miserable. Yeah, the good thing is, these enemies don't move until we aggro them, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. And yeah, we're gonna use Medea for that. Of course, I want to just make sure that she has enough health to do so, obviously. She did get a point of defense, which is going to help us out tremendously, so yeah. And yeah, now she can go ahead and get that health. Very nice. And yeah, like I said, we could give it to her. So it can help us against the boss. This is a defeat boss map, so we don't need to worry about the other enemies, probably, so yeah. 
because the that honest I should be able to tear him up. Let's see how we can do this. Turn the L fire. Oh yeah, I should mention another thing too about DS Farm that I thought was really cool about it. Um, he actually has voice acting. Um, it's Japanese, obviously, because it's a Japanese only thing. But yeah, that's really cool to be honest. Um, and yeah, I think with emulation, you can actually play those, <laughs> play that as well. But yeah, they both can. So, but this guy can't. And then, yeah, 23 and 15. See, so that's 13. And then. Five, so 18. Yeah, she's fine. Let's go Armor Slayer. Let's tear him apart. <laughs> and yeah, we probably need one person to heal as the issue, so yeah. I think the smart thing to do instead is trade the Hellfire to Nina. We'll have Boa do the healing. We actually don't need to use the rest of stuff. I was thinking about using it, but yeah. Since you're playing defensively on this map anyway, it's not really needed too much. Um, I guess he might be able to clear this up a little bit quicker with a smart use of it, but yeah. Here's the boss, and like I said, this is the feet boss, we need to kill him. <laughs> All fools trying to resist, then let me show you my power. Yeah, he hurt. Oh, this is nice. So I don't actually need to heal, so that's good. But yeah, he's gonna get some healing though. And there's the oh, mate. But yeah, this is gonna end this turn, so yeah. Like, yeah, I can do that, but. So all we need to do is, yeah, because we can actually take him down, we can take a both attack, which is really good. And then, yeah, we'll get him into, um, armor set kill moves. So there we go. And yeah, now armor set will do this. We need the armor set though. <laughs> you definitely need the armor set, I'm pretty sure. Because yeah, if you don't, yeah, it's pretty miserable. Um, and yeah, who wants, I mean, yeah, you're about to look at so yeah. Why not? <laughs> so we're gonna attack you. And yeah, Dolph gets a little up. On the kill, I mean. <laughs> Actually, pretty good. He has the growth one of the two, so yeah. And our armor set should be enough. Even if we miss. And there we go. How disappointing! So yeah, that's the end of that map, and then we get to see the aftermath. And yeah, as you probably know, it's probably not gonna be too great <laughs> for Dina. More defense, very nice. And yeah, there's more enemies. Princess Nina's here, we need reinforcements. Bring the entire battalion here and surround them. Don't let her escape. No, this can't be even more reinforcements. So, is this the end? Listen well, Arcane and Scarby, cannot cope, hope to win. Surrender or suffer the pain of death. Ah, look at us. Oh, so it seems I've right just inside. Alright, that's quite enough. Both, both sides, lower your weapons. Your General Kavu, why are you here? I hear that the Princess of Arcane is in this room. Is this true? Yes, sir. There are but few in number yet. Some knights are here with them. They get us some trouble, but the Princess's capture is inevitable. I see, good job. But you've done enough. You may leave the rest of me. Yes, sir. Listen well, Arcane, I am. Captain of the Grustian Knights. I respect your prowess about, but further bloodshed is of no value to you or I. May I request that you lower your weapons? I wish to speak with you. I have no weapons on my person. I swear upon the honor of Grust that I will not deceive you. Kamu of Grust? The one they call Kamu the Sable? He brought about the downfall of Arcane and is responsible for the deaths of many. Bishop, he is a hated enemy. I shall never forgive him. Princess, please leave it to me. I shall kill Kavu. He killed my parents. Nothing would make me happier than to do battle with him as my final stand. Wait, but dear, don't be hasty. Don't you know what tragedy? Don't you know what tragedy would befall the princess should you do that? Kavu may be our enemy, but here is a proud, exceptionally strong knight. He may even be able to protect the princess. Bishop, I do not wish to be protected, especially by that man. Shh, Kavu said. Die. A woman? It happened to his son. I can't hold back. My apologies. However, I see Arcane's paladins are fond of dishonorable tactics. To think they would ambush an army on foe. Not only is the Arcane army thoroughly disciplined, but even knights have no pride. No wonder your kingdom has fallen. 
Damn you, you're one to talk. I would not resort to such means if my opponent were anyone but you. Pride, you say? Surely you just. Your country betrayed Arkneer, and the great itself is Dollar's slave. What are you? The captain of Dollar's dogs? That's... that's what. Enough of this. Kill me. You don't need to hold back. I have no intention of killing. More importantly, Princess Nina. If it has to come to this, then... Princess, what are you doing? Please stay your hand. Bishop, don't stop me. Now that Medea has failed, I have no desire to live. You are Princess Nina, I presume. Not only your knight, but you as well. Are all Arkneas this irresponsible? In gross, this kind of behaviour is reserved for sport children only. Insolent cur! On what grounds are they calling me irresponsible? And what do you mean by spoil? You are a member of royalty. Now that your kingdom is part, now that your king is passed away, you must shoulder the responsibility of Arkneas. Wishing to throw away your life without considering the consequences? Please spare me of this selfishness. Dying is easy. However, what would become of the people you would leave behind? Do you truly intend to throw away your responsibility as royalty? How dare you try and lecture me? You drove my father to his death! Forgive me for what I'm about to say, but your father's a failure of a king. He drowned in pleasure, neglected politics, and ultimately abandoned his people. Arkneas miserable defeat was his doing. The one who led your people to the king to the abyss of despair was none other than the king Arkane himself. It is the king's duty to protect his people. King Arkane may have been a good father to you, but he was an incompetent king to his people. My words may be harsh, but only speak the truth. I feel pity for my people. I warned my father time and time again, but he never listened. However, Arkane is already fallen. What, what do you suggest I do at this point? At the very least, Emperor Medius currently does not wish to kill you, princess. So you must continue to live on to your fullest and bring hope to the citizens of Arkania. I hear your citizens love you. To them you embody the hope of Arkania. Oh, Princess, there's some fortunate wars now with her. I must now re return to Gross, but in a few months I shall return as the commander of the occupation army. I am no politician, but watching this desolate land brings pain to my heart. I wish for the kingdom of Arkania to become the verdant land it once was, as soon as I leave possible. Princess Nia may ask of your assistance. Would you deign to rebuild Arkneer together with your people? Very well. I shall give you the benefit of doubt. However, don't think my hatred towards you has disappeared. If you wish to take my life, you can have it any time. If that's what it takes to satisfy you. No, I shall endure for now, for my motherland, Arkneer. However, one day I shall lead the Arkneer League's army and fight the dollar. Should you stand my way, when that time comes, I shall display no mercy. Remember that. Understood, Princess. I thought your people adored you because you were beat, but it seems there's more to it than that. You speak rather impolitely, but I accept your praise graciously. Ha ha ha, please excuse my rudeness. As but a soldier from the Borderlands, I can only manage this rusket manner of speaking, so please forgive me. No, it is fine. I too must become stronger. Bishop, my dear, everyone, please heed me. I have made my choice. No matter how thorny that path might be, one day it should be. I shall take back our motherland Arkaneer from the Empire. I know it'll be difficult for everyone, but for now, please endure, so that one day we may reunite in this very palace. Princess. Hail Princess Dina. And there you go. And this is the story of how the greatest powers in the continent fell under the Empire's control. Would Nia's promise ever be fulfilled? The answer to that question would only be known years later. And here's my rank. So I got 514. Alright, so that's good. So yeah. You actually don't get like a S, A or something like that, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. I really like that map, to be honest. Like, it is kind of weird to play, but the story's great, actually. Like, yeah, we learn about Nina. The other Arcanated soldiers get some good moments too, like Madeira as well. Madeira's actually a really cool character in that, so yeah. It's kind of a shame that, you know, she's a little bit... Uh... Like, kind of a weird unit to use in the main games. Shadow Dragon and New Mystery. And yeah, Kamu herself, yeah, Kamu's actually really cool as well. We didn't really get to see too much of him in Shadow Dragon, we kind of just knew he was strong and stuff, but here, yeah. He definitely seems like his own. Like, he seems like. I don't know. Just very interesting, of course. So yeah. And anyway, next time, we're going to be doing Dragoon in the Arcanine Chronicles. So yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.